This is my daughter, Feather. Because of my influence and guidance, she was inspired to become a lawyer. This is my father, Harry. I hired him as an investigator for my law firm to keep him out of trouble. Spider Jet meets our requirements in every way. That's understood. I'm sure you're aware that my dual responsibility as embassy official and representative of our Air Force demands that the Spider Jet purchase meet the objectives of both our countries. You can look at the modifications right now if you wish. Take as much time as you need, Colonel. Well, thank you, Charles. I'll only be about 15 minutes. Something I must uh, clear up first. Your desk is directly outside my office. So near and yet so far. You know things about me, Jennifer. Things you shouldn't know. So? I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. As long as we're together. Well, perhaps you could say that. car around the back and ask the chauffeur to look under the bonnet. Seems to be sort of a rattle at some this good. Very good, sir. That's a good fellow.
Oh, good morning, Richard. Morning, Colonel. I say, uh, have you seen Jennifer this morning? Oh, well, now I've been trying to call her, but the uh, line is busy. Well, she's not usually this late. I hope she's not unwell. I'll oh, keep trying if you wish, sir. Uh, Richard, why don't you slip over to her apartment and see if she's all right? I'm not sure if that's appropriate, Hello. you know. I know that you were engaged, but you are friends. You do work together. Oh, yes, yes, well. I'd yeah. appreciate it, old chap. Very good. <laughs> Take your time. the agitated behavior of the defendant at the termination of the victims and the defendant's engagement. Your Honor, we have not seen the entire letter. The contents are in the record. But the distinguished assistant district attorney has withheld the closing salutation. Your Honor, it's a procedure of our office to withhold a minor, insignificant piece of evidence in the event a uh, confession is forthcoming. It is procedure, Miss Stanton. Your Honor, I think the court has seen sufficient evidence to charge the defendant with murder in the first degree. Agreed. The charge, as stated, is brought by the state against the defendant. This hearing is adjourned. Officer, it's really not necessary for you to be here. You want to be out on the street protecting the public. Mr. Hurley's orders. Yeah. I don't understand that man. He doesn't trust anybody anymore. I guess so. He told me not to take my eyes off you for a second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, let me see. Uh, is there a terrace on the other side of that bedroom? No, there's no terrace out there. Well, I guess I'm finished here. That was pretty quick. Well, I don't want to take up your time, officer. Probably have 300 more parking tickets to write before sundown. I'll just take a few minutes of your time, Colonel. I need some information about my client, Richard Stevens. Shall we go into my office? Quite. You're very kind to see me here at the embassy. Oh, it's uh, my pleasure. Please, help yourself to some tea. Thank you. Would you like some? Not for me, thank you. Do you mind if I smoke? No, not at all. I won't keep you very long. I just wanted to ask a couple of questions. It's a great pleasure to have you here, Miss Danton. Much better than having some doddering old ambassador babbling away in a language I can't understand. Oh, well, I seldom babble and I don't dodder, at least not until the sun goes down. <laughs> uh, Colonel, I wanted to talk to you about your deposition. You said about Richard, quote, Richard was very upset when Jennifer canceled the engagement. I was being kind. Kind? Oh, poor Richard. Such a nice fellow. He's in enough trouble already. Actually, he was in a rage. A rage, Richard? Are we talking about the same person, mild-mannered Richard? He may be all of those things. But on that particular day, he was in a rage. Richard, did you threaten Jennifer? I would never threaten Jennifer. Well, then why would she break off the engagement? There's another man. Oh? Who? I don't know, actually. She wouldn't tell me. Maybe it was someone you knew. Maybe it was a married man. Or somebody important. Or all of the above. We'll have to work on this, Richard. Look, you must believe me. I don't know who it was, really. I... It's okay, kid. It's all right. Relax. Here. Let you have a smoke. I don't smoke, thank you. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Aha uh-huh, what? Aha, uh-huh, he doesn't smoke. Aha. Uh-huh. And may I see that, please? Why, oh, that's Colonel Barrington Stone's brandy, as I'm sent in from Cuba. Uh, through Canada, I believe. Where'd you get that, Harry? In Jennifer's apartment. Richard, my boy, it appears you are the victim of a bloody setup. <laughs> following this Colonel Barrington Stone. Do you know a better way to find out where he's going? Where can he go? It's he's Jennifer's other man. This girlfriend is dead. Yeah, I know that. Maybe he ran out of cigars. Hey, Captain. Looks like the Colonel's got company. You tell me they're not guilty of any crimes, or are you charging them with anything? As a federal agent in charge of this case, all I want to know is why they were following the man we were following. Who were you following? Who we always follow? A spy. A spy? Now, wait a minute. Who is she? I'm an attorney. I'm defending a young man in a murder case. We have reason to believe Colonel Barrington Stone may be involved. Can it be trusted? Well, I... Uh, yes, trusted, sure. Colonel James Barrington Stone has been pirating plans of the spider jet fighter. I thought he was buying those for his own government. He's also selling the plans to the highest bidder behind the Iron Curtain. Well, why did you arrest him? That's a delicate matter. Barrington Stone is a citizen of a foreign government, getting plans from us, plans he has legitimate access to. So he's not breaking our laws, and he's selling the plans to another government. It'll all be straightened out as soon as Shelby gets here. A Shelby? Coming here? Who's Shelby? Carter Shelby. He's the head of the Home Security Force, the HSF. They're the same as our guys, only with an accent. Shelby's coming under the cover of checking security for the visit of the Duke of Wickham. So what he's really after is Barrington Stone. Right. Well, then what happens to my client who's still in jail? I'm afraid that's out of our hands. And that means it's out of yours. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Where might inspection? I say, then. I don't know. Something about the Duke or something. He wants to check it out, really. Well, I'll go upstairs and uh, check out the bathrooms. How many bathrooms are there? Mm, there's seven upstairs. Oh, that's right. Down that corridor, you'll find a crumb lab. Go and check it out. Okay? Hi. Right, there it is. Sorry, but the position has been filled. Oh. We're so glad you came. Would you please use this exit here? Diplomatic work? Oh, yes. I was secretary to the Council General. Oh. 
Why did you leave? Well, as you could see, I was doing quite well at the consulate. But I really wanted to be with more people who have my ancestry. My, my mother was raised in Scarborough. Ah, oh, Scarborough, delightful countryside. Charming, yes. May I call? Oh, please do. Take it easy, it's my phone. Hey, Keith! Keith! Uh, Office of the Consulate. Uh, Mr. Armour Hilbert Arsh Army. One moment, please. Armour Arsh Army, Heath? Yes, this is Clive Morgan. I'm looking into the references of one Margot St. James. <laughs> Mr. James has had extensive experience in the diplomatic service, and there were no more applicants. Well, thank you, Morgan. That'll be all. Yes, Well, now, Mr. James, I'd like to get started straight away. I'll show you over the embassy. We have so much to do before the Duke arrives. Thank you. Well, there isn't too much time, so I have to be very brief about this. That, of course, is your desk, and that's where you'll be sitting, guarding my door. And this is the typist pool. Who are you? Ah, oh, Baron Stone. Cheswick, under secretary of protocol. Would you give me triplicate of each of these, there? My accommodations are quite adequate. I should like to see the Duke's suite. The Duke? You are aware, of course, that for a royal visit, protocol assumes priority over other embassy operations. Oh, yes, of course. Is there anything I can find for you? I shall find what I have to find. I was just showing Miss St. James around the embassy. Perhaps you'd care to join us. Oh, thank you. No, I have much more important things to do. Can you produce the lot, please? Good afternoon, uh, Colonel Barrington Stone. Colonel, he's in the other room. Yeah. Ha! <coughs> Miss Stanton. Colonel. You know Miss Stanton? <coughs> uh, regretfully, no. The Cheswick. Our Under Secretary of Protocol. How do you do? Delighted, I'm sure. If this is bad timing, I. Not at all. Uh, Miss St. James, my secretary. You'll find the letters on the desk. You can go in. I only have a couple of questions for you, that's all. Certainly. Why don't we slip into my room? Good. Yes, sir. Chesing, what the devil do you think you're doing? A list of embassy personnel for introductions to the Duke. I thought perhaps they might be here. Why don't you try here? That's the ticket. Thank you. I'm sorry, Miss Stanton. Uh, a new man. Well, it's understandable. Good help is hard to get these days. As a matter of procedure, we examined Jennifer's apartment and we came up with this. Oh. It is your brand, isn't it? Oh, yes, of course. Mm. But, um, you say you found it in Jennifer's apartment? Yes. How do you suppose it got there? Well, that boyfriend of hers, Richard. Oh, no, Richard doesn't smoke. Another man. That must be the reason she broke off the engagement. Which leads me to my second question. If Jennifer did break the engagement because of another man, would you by any chance know who that man was? Good heavens, no. Well, she was my secretary. I didn't know anything about her private life. Oh, yes, of course. 
Come in. Uh, Colonel, I have something very important for you. I think you ought to see it. What is it? Well, I, I cleaned out Jennifer's desk, and I found this with Cheswick's name on it. Thank you, little girl. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if you'd excuse me, Miss Dantle, but uh, something has come up. Oh. If you'd be so kind. Yes. Well, Perhaps another time. I I'd like that, yes. I'll You're, be in touch. You're very kind. Thank you. Just call my secretary. Uh, Mr. James, would you ask Morgan to come in? You wanted to see me, sir? This, will you? I know that Whitehall 1212 is the the home number for home security services, but uh, the extension's a new one on me. Who's it? It's Shelby, sir. They've moved him up to the third floor. Oh, yes, of course. Shelby. How silly. Oh, thank you, Morgan. That's all. Yes. from Shelby's office. I know of no one from Shelby's office here. My good man, you are not supposed to know. What's that you're burning? A code book. Why did you come here to burn a code book? Because the code book was here. Jennifer hid it in the freezer. Behind the frozen daiquiri mix, as a matter of fact. I want the whole story. Cheswick, is it? Yes, Cheswick is my real name. In 1945, I was known as the Blue Fox of Lisbon. Well, then, perhaps you've heard of me. My exploits have been written up. And I want the whole story, and I want it now. I was sent here to eliminate you, Barrington Stone. What? Which, you must admit, is a better fate than being sent to Shelby's Island. No one's ever survived that. Quite true. You're a doomed man, Barrington Stone. But what did I do? Come, come, man. We know all about the spider jet plans you've been selling. Jennifer told us everything. She's one of us. But of course, you knew that. Why else would you kill her? I didn't kill her. That young man, that boyfriend of hers. And you did an almost professional job to make it appear so. I didn't do it. It's no use, Barrington Stone. You can't win. At least, not alone. Then, with whom? Well, I could make Shelby believe that you are not the one who is betraying our country. I see. And for this help? What do you want? Money. And they've a chance to spend it, of course. How much? One hundred thousand pounds. 
enough bearing to the stone. It's only a small share of what you receive for the spider jet plans. Very well. But how do you propose to convince Shelby? Well, Shelby knows that someone has been selling the spider jet plans to the other side. Jennifer told him it was you. We'll convince Shelby it was Jennifer. Simple as that. Carter Shelby, HSF. Have uncovered an error in identifying spy. No, wait a minute. Revise that. Make it selling agent. Selling agent. Yes, it's much more persuasive. Selling agent. Have new information. We'll report on your arrival. Uh, no. Just a minute. Have new information in my hand. In my hand. Yes, that'll sell it. Have new information in my hands. We'll report on your arrival. Signed, Chesey. Get that off immediately. We'll talk later, Colonel. Clive. Sir. Chesick just sent a communicator to Shelby at the home office. When the reply comes in, bring it to me at once. Yes, yes sir. Chesick. Yes, sir. <laughs> Very efficient. Oh, it's still here. I'll get it off the radio room straight away. I really should type it. This is fine. Quite understandable. Oh, yes, but you see, it's just been scribbled. Actually, if you just let Your me... Your handwriting is really quite lovely, Mr. Dane. Yes, but you see... Cheswick? Who the devil's Cheswick? Not one of our people, Mr. Shelby. Now, listen to this. Have uncovered an error in identifying selling agent. New information... But you know the meaning of this. No, sir. Well, then the cable's a hoax. I shall not wait for the Duke's visit. I shall go to the United States now, tonight. We'll surprise the traitor. Before he knows it, he'll be on his way to my island. I'll call the squadron leader. No, no. No, we're over budget. Ring that um, Commander Beam fellow in the States. Perhaps he can have us flown in. Sir. Cheswick. With that. I have an obsession with you. Who are you? You've seen my papers already. I'm Shep. Oh, I'm Cheswick, for goodness sakes. I mean, what are you? And what are you doing coming out of the office of the attorney who's defending Jennifer's murderer? Oh, Tony Danton. She's working for us. Right. Well, not for you. Show me. This time you've gone too far. Now, the home office has never heard of anybody with the name of Cheswick. Get in. All right, if you must be satisfied, I'll prove it to you that I work for Shelby's office. Do it. Just get me to a phone first. Mobile operator. Rose Barber Shop. This is Blue Fox. Blue Who? Bring Danton to Station W. Danton? You're Dan... Oh, you mean the other one, Feather. Correct. Station W. Harry, give me a hint, will you? Station W. Is that bigger than a bread box? Correct. Plan C biscuit. And bring Dr. Altobelli with you, please. That's my brother-in-law's warehouse. W for warehouse. Now, Dr. Altobelli. Dr. Altobelli. Hey, that's me. You. My name's Altobelli. Congratulations, Doc. We got a job for you. What do we do? If it's like Scranton in 62, we torture 
feather. Ah, Miss Danton. Miss Danton, in intelligence work, as we both know, blowing one's cover is to be avoided at all costs. Yet I'm going to ask you to do precisely that. Now. I don't know what you're talking about. Colonel Barrington Stone and I have worked out an extremely lucrative financial arrangement, which, however, he is reluctant to go along with unless I can prove I am working for Shelby. Only you can supply that proof. My name is Tony Danton. I'm an attorney. Well, we'll just have to wait for the truth serum to work. Dr. Altobelli's truth serum is slow, but nonetheless effective. Barrington Stone, you're asking me to go to great lengths to prove that I'm working for Shelby. A hundred thousand pounds is a great deal of money. Oh my, yes. Every man deserves a friend. Every man deserves a... In a moment, you will have your proof. Miss Stanton, who are you working for? Tell us. Richard. And who's paying you? Cheswick. Cheswick. And who is paying Cheswick? Shelby. Shelby. But why is Shelby involved in this? Jennifer. Too good an agent. Too good to be killed. For love to smart. Does Shelby know who killed Jennifer? Barrington Stone. Me. But why should he think that? Jennifer knew what you were doing. She told Shelby. You got to her too late, that's all. I didn't get to her, I told you. Well, Barrington Stone, you've got your proof. What else would you like to know? What are you going to do with that? The doctor has his instructions. Don't you know it? Hello, anybody there? Feather? Hello. Hi, you busy? No. No, I'm just lying here naked talking to you. Oh, I see I want to talk business and you want to kid around. I'm sorry, Hadley. I called to warn you, uh, Harry, really. He doesn't have to bother to concoct some scheme to con Colonel Barrington Stone. No? Why? Shelby's on his way here now. Well, thanks for the call, Hadley. Are you really lying there naked? Oh, don't be ridiculous. If I was, would I tell you? Bye. Margo, tell Harry Shelby's coming. Thank you, Miss St. Jane. Shelby's coming. Tomorrow. Shelby. But we haven't got the, the evidence to convince him. We'll have to get it. Tonight. Ah, 
Watch that we are. Sorry, Colonel, but get your hands up high. What do you mean by this? I'm Colonel Barrington Stone. I've a perfect right to be here. How dare you? Have you ever heard of diplomatic immunity? All right, Colonel, let's go. I'll see that you're both caught martial for this. Watch your word. Sweetheart. Really? What happened? We lose. Barrington Storm was arrested. <laughs> Caught him cold. That means Richards got the heat on him. Can't let him all. Couple more. All right, all right, hold her. Almost found. You don't realize what this guy's asking. He wants us to let him go free. Now, Barrington Stone gets away. I don't even want to think about the problems that Shelby's going to cause, not to mention what our own people are going to say. Shelby will be here in a matter of hours. Hadley, you cannot let this innocent kid go down for a murder rap. Look, now, gentlemen, now, there's got to be some way that you can let Barrington Stone out of jail for a few hours. No way. Okay. Okay. But I'm sure your superiors would be interested to learn how you guys could let a known spy get into a top-secret plans room. All right. All right. But I stay with him wherever he goes. Oh, come on. I gotta set Harry, it up. Harry, take it or leave it. He takes it. Harry. He takes it. your release, so he could attend to a little unfinished business. Who's he? Oh, don't worry about him. He's a new man. Been working in Europe for the last six months. He's doing a little uh, oh, on-the-job training, I think you call it, yes. Well, what happens now? Calm down, Barrington Stone. We mustn't give the new man the impression that we're not steady under pressure, must we? Calmly, we will complete our plan. Get in, please. I'd like to have a word with you on the way to the embassy. Yes, uh, you do have the code word. The code word? Oh, oh, yes, of course. Yes, I can't go with you unless you give it to me. Naturally. Uh, trumpets? <laughs> My dear lady, there is no code word. Let's go. Not one of our people, sir. No, sir. Mr. Shelby, Carter yes. Shelby? Yes? I have a car for you, sir. Courtesy of Commander B. I right, thank you. Ah, okay. A little closer in. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. All right. These aren't the plans of the spider jet. They're the plans of a jet's ventilating system. They're all the same. Yeah, they'll be good enough once you get the picture down to microdots. That's for me. Oh. Kaiser, where do you keep your telephone? Oh. You pull back. Chessie, care. Listen, Blue Fox, Shelby didn't buy it. He took off with Lou. Pity. Well, Lou's going to take him to the scenic group, but he can only stall for so long. Yeah. Yes, well, I'll see you later, then. Right. I'll meet you at the embassy. Good. Carry on, ducks. Very good at this. You learn to make microdots. Mexico City in 60. 
guess I'm just naturally talented. finished yet, Baddingstone. Oh, the money. Not yet, Cheswick. What do you mean, not yet? I've done my part. When Shelby comes, we'll see if it works or not. Come on, Harry, get him to talk. Well, if that's the way it must be. All right. But I do think we should get our story straight for Shelby. I know the story. There's no need to... I'm a thorough man, Barrington Stone. I insist. Tea? Please. Milk or lemon? Milk. One? Or two? Shelby. Where's Colonel Barrington Stone? I can explain everything. We tell Shelby that you did a routine search of Jennifer's apartment and discovered the evidence that she was a spy. The story will have to be sprinkled with some details to make it appear authentic. No need. Shelby's an old fool. He exists only on his reputation. Please, sir! Don't go in there. We want him to confess to the murder of Jennifer. I don't know her, Jennifer. Oh, sir! Shelby. I heard everything, Colonel. Your attempt to trick me won't work. There'll be a trial. It will be filmed for the world to see. And after the trial, you won't be seen by anybody for a very long time. But it's not true. He made me say it. You're your man, Cheswick. My man? Who are you? It's not important who I am, Mr. Shelby. What's important is what Barrington Stone did. He will pay for what he did. I won't go with you, not to that place, not to that damn island. You will go. You'll pay for your treachery every day you survive. Well, I committed a crime here. I must be arrested here. A crime? What crime? I killed Jennifer! Uh-huh. Colonel, if you killed Jennifer and you knew about Richard's letter, then you can tell me how it ended. Quit. It ended in the middle of a sentence. Dear Richard, we can never again. That's how it ended. That's it. Satisfied? Let's go. No, no, he's mine. He's on my territory, Lieutenant. Diplomatic immunity. Well, take me into the streets. I'll confess in the streets. Look, I'm sorry, I have no choice. Please, please, Mr. Shelby, let us have him. If you don't, an innocent man will go to prison. It would be a terrible miscarriage of justice, Mr. Shelby. Please. Very well, I'll take him. But if he ever gets out, I'll handle him in my own way. Excuse me. I have to let an innocent man out of prison. Thank you, Mr. Shelby. Harry, <laughs> I knew you could do it. You see, sir, the colonel was wrong. You're not an old fool after all. Pie business? Yeah. <laughs> Why Cheswick? Cheswick? I thought Cheswick had a fine ring to it somehow. Well, uh, Cheswick, the protocol. Yes, it's a very good cover. Yeah. Uh, perhaps, yeah. Mr. Danton, we could discuss the possibility of your doing some work for us. Oh, that'd be most flattering, Mr. Shelby. That'd give me an international base. Yes, if you could make an offer financially attractive Excuse enough, me, I think perhaps I... He already has a lifetime contract. Well, sweetheart, I'd like to consider what Mr. Shelby has to offer. You weren't really serious about becoming a spy, were you? Oh, sweetheart, no. 
No, that means lying, cheating, fooling people. It's not my style. 